Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I am going to show you a brilliant attack on the Castle King. This is the game between Schlechter and the Wolf. The game was played in Vienna in 1894. White played e4, black played e6, d4, and d5. And we have French defense. White played knight c3, bishop f6, bishop g5, bishop e7. And the book move is e5. Instead, white captured the knight and black captured the bishop. Knight f3 was played, black castled kingside, e5, bishop e7, bishop to d3, bishop to d7. And now you would expect white to castle kingside. Instead, he played h4 with the idea to play knight to g5. Black saw that plan and he played f6. But surprise, surprise! White played knight to g5 anyway. And he decided to take the knight. Because if pawn takes now g5, there is a way to defend. But there came another surprise. Bishop takes h7 check. So white is sacrificing two pieces. King takes h7, h takes g5, this is discovered check, king to g8. How to continue now? I will show you one variation that doesn't work. Queen h5, and now rook f5, check, king f7, and there is no checkmate. Wow! But how to win then if queen h5 doesn't work? Well, white sacrifices yet another piece. Check! And black didn't take. He played king f7, but let's see what would happen in this variation. If he takes, then queen h5, king g8, g6, rook f5, check, king f8, checkmate. So probably that uh, black saw all this. So he played king to f7 and then white played queen h5 check and the only defense is g6 queen h7 check king e8 and the last move is can you see the last move? Well, the last move is queen to g6, checkmate. Well, you can be the judge. Is this brilliant attack on the castle king or not? Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it.